Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Fino Concept. So if you are having this problem in Adobe After Effects, here's how to solve it. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Now the first thing to do is actually import this into any photo editing um, software I'll probably go with the one you have to buy because the free versions of other software don't actually work. So in my case, the software I'm comfortable with is Adobe Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to open up. And once you do that, just click and drag your image in there. Now in Photoshop, just go to image and under that you should see the first option, which is mode. So change the mode from CMYK to RGB. Now once you've done that, just save this as a new file, I'll probably place it somewhere here. So go ahead and open up After Effects, then import this new file and you are not going to get that error anymore. Now the reason why this happens is After Effects does not detect CMYK because that is for printing and because everything you are doing is graphically intense and for screens. After Effects doesn't recognize it, so everything you import will have to be RGB or it is not going to work. So thank you guys for watching, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos, hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Final Concept and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Honestly. I hope you guys didn't think I was working on this laptop. The laptop is even not on, so it's just here and I'm not even using it. Everything I do is on the main machine, that is the desktop you've been seeing all the time.